but allegedly locked in a closet for almost a month. We told you earlier this week when police arrested a woman in connection to the case. On your side's Andrew Badillo is live tonight with what we've learned about a second suspect. Andrew? Heather, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office say that they have arrested 38 year old Kenneth Trout and charged him with aggravated child abuse. Now in this house behind me, police say that Trout and 37 year old Alexandra Eby locked and handcuffed the child in a closet for almost a month. In a police incident report, it says DCF went to the house on Macbeth Road for a welfare check on the child on December 14th. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says it was called to the house by DCF because the agency feared the child may be dead. The report says Alexandra Eby brought the child outside where DCF observed that that child needed immediate medical attention. In the affidavit for Trout's arrest warrant, the child's siblings say the victim would be locked in her room for long periods of time, one instance for eating peanut butter out of a jar. People living on Macbeth Street told us they had not seen the child for weeks, prompting one neighbor to call Child Protective Services. We wanted to see the baby, or not the baby, but the girl. We wanted to see the girl because nobody has seen her. And that was the tipping point. So whenever they brought her out in a blanket, they said that she was using the bathroom or whatever I read. But I saw her, she was in a blanket, and she could barely even walk. And so I think that was the tipping point. Now, the neighbor we spoke with wished to not go on camera for safety reasons, but she did tell us tonight that she feels much safer knowing that eBay and Trout are behind bars. Live in Jacksonville, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.